Hey, how's it going, everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Roll Chambeau, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today we are checking out a tactical flashlight from Brynite. This one is the PT-16, and shout out to Brynite for reaching out to me uh, to get this in my hands because I've been getting into some more flashlights recently, and I think that they're very interesting. They all seem to have different features and different modes of operation and different uses. It's really, really interesting, and today I'm going to check out one that they have a claim that this flashlight will shine a beam at over five and a half football fields. It's a pretty long distance, but we're going to check it out and we're going to see just how good this flashlight is. First of all, let's talk about the box and what's in the box. It's pretty standard packaging, nothing too terribly fancy. It does show you what the flashlight is on the outside, but that is not actually a realistic representation of how big the light itself actually is. When you open the box, you'll notice that it's in this easily biodegradable packaging that crumbles pretty easily. And of course you have the flashlight. Now I've already taken this one out before. So just a reminder to those of you who get this brand new, you will of course need to unscrew that tail cap and remove the battery protector. Until you do that, it will in fact not operate. So first things first, we get the flashlight. If you pop up this biodegradable packaging right here, you'll notice that you get a few other things. Now this is the standard package. The standard package is going to give you the user manual, a catalog, a USB-C recharging cable, an extra set of O-rings, and then a lanyard, which I have already installed on the light. The PT-16 features a body made out of 6060 aluminum. It comes with this tactical ring pre-installed as well as the pocket clip. Both the ring and the pocket clip are in fact removable. Now this is on the larger size as far as flashlights are concerned and it comes in at about five and a half ounces. The battery in the light itself is a 21700 5000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and you can recharge it in the light directly via USB-C. The USB-C port is protected by this rubber grommet and the beam intensity maxes out at 92,500 candela with a reported throw of 608 meters, 556 yards, or roughly five and a half football fields. Now, keeping the tactical nature of this light in mind, it is in fact IP68 water and impact resistant rated, and it features a forward clicky tail switch with a secondary dedicated side tail switch, as well as a switch up here near the housing of the light. On the topic of using this light with all three different switches, we should probably talk about the different modes. And on this light, there are in fact six different modes. Here's what I mean. Uh, first of all, we have low mode. Low mode is going to be 10 lumens and it will last a max of 31 hours. Next is mid. Mid is going to be 130 lumens. That will last you 15 and a half hours. The next one is high. High is 820 lumens. That will last two and a half hours. And then the final step on that progression is turbo. Turbo is the full 2000 lumens. And that 2000 lumens will last for a minute before it scales down accordingly. And then it'll continue to last for 90 minutes. If you double click, it'll take it into strobe mode. That is the full 2000 lumens. And if you double click while on strobe mode, it'll take it to SOS. SOS mode is 120 lumens. But let's talk about just how you can use this light. The methods of operation might seem pretty in depth given that we have three different buttons here, but in fact, it is quite intuitive. Here's what I mean. A simple click from off and it'll automatically go into the last mode you were in. And then a click up here on this top button will continue to cycle. So starting here, you can actually do full clicks to go ahead and cycle through low, medium, high, and then a double click will get it to strobe. 
A double click will get it to go into SOS mode from strobe. If you want to turn it off, you press and hold that button. And that's how this switch right here works. If you want to use the back switch, this is where all the fun can be had. So this is what's considered the side switch, and this is the main rear tail switch. The main rear tail switch is great because you can do a half press and it'll do a momentary turbo, which is great for those quick situations where you need to shine a light, a strong light on something. And that's also where you unlock the full 92,500 candela intensity, which is, it makes this light a thrower. And those of you in the flashlight world know that a thrower is a light that will shine for a long distance this is that and that's really where you get the most out of this is kind of in a searchlight scenario or where you need to throw a beam a seriously long ways that 92,500 candela intensity leads to over five and a half football fields of throw or at least that's what brianite is claiming so a half press is momentary turbo a full press will stay in turbo now, while you're in this full tail switch mode, if you want to switch the different modes, you can, in fact, use this side switch, and then you've got your low, medium, high, and turbo. Another full click, and it'll turn it off. Now, if you want to use this strobe light in a emergency situation, maybe you need to disorient someone um, or maybe you just need to cause a scene real quick. If you press and hold this side switch from a dead off, it's automatic dedicated strobe. And that strobe is also 2000 lumens, which means that you are getting the full intensity and the full power of this light immediately in a disorienting strobe light. There are a few features that I haven't touched on yet. The first one that is definitely worth mentioning is that this will automatically place itself in a lockout mode if it goes unused for a few minutes. That's nice if you decide to put it in your pocket. The next is the fact that this tactical ring is completely removable as is the pocket clip. So if this turns out to be a light that is a bit too big for your pocket, which for many people it will be, you don't have to worry about that. You can in fact remove these two pieces. Now they do call this a tactical ring and no matter what research I did, I couldn't necessarily figure out what its function was. I mean, maybe you could use it as a bit of an impact tool in a situation where maybe you just need to baton something. But personally, I just find that it gets in the way. On the point of the pocket clip, that is something that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of, at least for my pockets, because this is, in fact, the largest light that I've ever reviewed. That's not to say that it's absolutely mag light status, but it is pretty big for a light with a pocket clip. Let me show you what I mean. Here it is up against one of my favorite EDC lights. This is the Nightcore EDC 33. We could also compare it to the Olight Baton 3 Pro Max, the Olight Baton 3 Pro. The closest that I've come to a light as big as this in my collection is the Sophirn SC28, and it's even bigger than that. Is that to say that you can't put this in your pocket? Absolutely not. It will 100% fit in there, but you will definitely notice the footprint. That being said, the more I use this light, the more it's clear to me that I do in fact have a preference on the type of flashlight that I carry. Some people might prefer more of a floodlight. I, I'm finding that I prefer more of a thrower. I really appreciate getting some distance on that beam. And on this one, based on the reflective housing and the LED, it is a very clear and defined beam. You see exactly where the edges of the illumination are, and it's very crisp and bright within those boundaries. Also, we have some crenellation up here at the top, which is going to be a force multiplier if you do in fact need to use this as a self-defense tool for something more than just illuminating. That crenellation will in fact be a force multiplier that you could use to jab into something or someone should you find yourself in the need. I'm also very appreciative of this side tail switch that is dedicated to strobe. I find myself 
playing with that and messing with that because if you are in a situation where maybe you need to defend yourself, having quick direct access to that means that you actually have a way to disorient someone that might be attacking you. And that is fantastic because you want quick access. You don't want to just be sitting here clicking away, hoping to find the right mode. I really appreciate that. And in a non-self-defense situation, you use that side button to switch between the different modes so you don't have to switch up your grip and use the regular front button. Speaking of the different ways you can use it, these come in several different packages. One of those packages is the tactical package. Now the tactical package does have a touchpad option where you would actually replace this tail cap with the touchpad and you can mount this directly on your firearm. Ultimately, I think there's a lot to love on this light. And despite the fact that it is bigger than what I would normally carry, I do find myself enjoying the use of it. But I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. Let's have a conversation in the comment section down below. Are you gonna check it out? Are you gonna pick one up? If not, why not? Let me know. And if you wanna check out more awesome knife and EDC content, make sure to click on one of the videos that pops up next.